Hello everyone, this is Khalid and today our lesson is going to be an introduction to Adobe Dreamweaver CC. Today's lesson is going to explain the first and how to build the first website or web page. Uh, and I will introduce you mainly to Dreamweaver and its features, how to create a website and how to create a web page, how to add some of the elements uh, to open and uh, to open an existing page, to build a new page and to play with some of the properties that are uh, popular in uh, uh, this web development tool. Uh, first of all, I would like you uh, to know more about Dreamweaver CC which is one of the famous uh, website builders and deployment tools. Uh, it has been uh, developed like more than 20 years, imagine that and it was first developed by Micromedia company and after that it was acquire, acquired by Adobe company um, it has the latest version of HTML5, CSS, JavaScript and it also deals with a feature is, uh, that is called what you see is what you get and when I say what you see is what you get it means that you can drag, you can type, you can do anything you want and everything will be uh, showing to you immediately for example if you want to insert a picture uh, let's say we will go to the insert we search for a particular banner or picture which I already saved previously and you can see that it is already there you can type whatever you want uh, I hope you will enjoy and whatever you type you will be uh, seeing it immediately there so this, this is what we call uh, what you see is what you get previously when we used to develop any website or web page we used to use uh, HTML language and CSS cascading style sheet language which will take a lot of time in order to create a single web page but now because of Dreamweaver uh, we can do that uh, in a blink of eye. Uh, the next topic I'm going to talk about is the features and advantages of Dreamweaver and uh, it is really distinguishable uh, tool that I have been using like more than 12 years and I was teaching Dreamweaver like since let's say 10 to 12 years ago and it, uh, its deployment was very fast every year they, uh, they come up with new features they teach us more, they make it simple for us uh, uh, the best advantages of it, it that it has an uh, amazing code editor so if we have a look at the code editor you can see different features which is colorful first of all so you can distinguish different tags you can see that the blue tags are there the orange tags are there uh, it's, it will make it much more easier for us to distinguish and to know where are we working so it will make it more simple than us also for example if you want to type any type of code it has uh, uh, different options it has a syntax checker so for example if you are getting it wrong it will correct it for you directly if you want to type anything here for example uh, it will it will do autocomplete also which will make it easier for us to write the code if anyone is familiar with the code so this is like an extra feature uh, auto checker is there uh, autocomplete is there uh, it will help you in browsing files it will have a lot a lot of different uh, options you see the tabbing here uh, it will help us in uh, organize our work more and more the second feature is that it has a live view when I say we have a live view uh, it means that if you go and browse the live view from here whatever you do it will show you like you are browsing a real website and you can also do modification on that so you can add whatever you want uh, to the web page easily and you will also view it as a live view 
so it is also an extra um, feature that is developed by Adobe Dreamweaver uh, it is a site management tool so that means when you uh, finish your design you can deploy your website you can add PHP code you can add CSS code and JavaScript code also to this web developing tool so uh, there is everything is there when you work with Dreamweaver it has a friendly user interface this is the fourth reason that I like using Dreamweaver it's uh, uh, its user interface is so friendly it's easy uh, it's all considered of uh, panels if you know other Adobe products like Photoshop or uh, Illustrator then it will be more and more easier but it's uh, in spite it's very easy it's hard to master so that means if you are a good designer then you will do a good job if you are not a good designer it will not be like that great so you need to know the designing principles which I will be explaining in our next class uh, Dreamweaver also have uh, built-in templates so that means uh, you can simply go there create a new website from a template I will show you this later on um, you can pick a ready-made website it's all there everything is there including the links including the pages uh, so it will also make it uh, uh, flexible and uh, very easy to, to master and the last uh, reason is that it is always improving so it's like 20 years guys uh, it has been a lot of added uh, features in Dreamweaver and um, the, today's lesson is going to handle the latest version of uh, Dreamweaver CC uh, after the small introduction about the Dreamweaver CC, I'm going to introduce you now to the actual interface of Dreamweaver. Uh, so this will be uh, the end of our lesson for today after completing the um, interface. As you see, if you open the Dreamweaver software, you will find uh, two main important buttons, which is uh, create a new website and open an existing web uh, site or web page, sorry. So we can create a new one, we can open um, a ready-made one by us if we, for example, did some job yesterday, I want to continue, I will open this web page. Uh, then after that, I will teach you how to make templates and to make a quick start, which is something for uh, ready-made uh, work. When I create a new web page, I will have different options. Uh, the one I'm targeting for today is the HTML because I'm going to design a web page we can also uh, we will use also later the CSS we will use the JavaScript we will use also PHP but uh, in the coming lessons uh, we also have starter templates so if you see there is a ready-made designs uh, it's all there you just replace the picture you replace the text that you need but it's silly, you know, uh, we need to do something uh, by ourselves. So I will go to the new document and in this text box I can find the title of the web page, which is an option of course, but it is nice to show up when you open any web page. Uh, it will be appearing in the title bar. So let's say I will uh, name this one home page. Uh, as it is my first or index usually and I will create it now this is the main interface of uh, Dreamweaver if you notice this is the file name here because I didn't save the file yet so it is untitled file when I save it immediately it will uh, show as uh, the name I saved it so let's go to file save as and keep in your mind one important point which is that we always must keep all of our pages and pictures and videos in one folder it will make it easier for us later on when we uh, um, insert pictures or when we deploy the website instead of searching there and uh, in different folders I will create only one folder I will keep everything there so we will create like a new folder and I will name it uh, web C 
site one, let's say. And inside that, I can save this uh, web page. Let's say in this. Usually, uh, to make it easier for us to deploy uh, websites, it's better to name it as index because uh, it will make it like uh, smoother in uploading the the pages because usually the index is the first page or the home page in our um, website so I will save it now and if you see now the name is changed immediately uh, the next thing I want to explain is the different panels that we have in Dreamweaver so we have uh, the files panel the CC libraries, the insert panel, which we are going to use most of the time. We have the CC designer, CSS designer, sorry. We have the assets, the files, the snippets, and so on, okay? But the most important thing I'm going to use in these panels is files, insert, and CSS designers. Uh, we have, uh, on regular basis, some of the pop-up windows that will tell us what to do, for example, or give us some hints. Um, quick edit if you want to edit for the HTML code you, it is teaching you in a small a short uh, video what to do it's also useful but I don't need it at the moment uh, the second thing I want to explain is the workspace now if you see this workspace is called standard if you want to change your workspace play with it if you for example don't want this toolbar to show up you want to remove it you can remove it easily if you want to remove any one of these panels you can remove it also you can drag the files for example and put it somewhere else uh, it's for the user how do you feel comfortable it's like your desk you put the pens on the right you put the box in the middle uh, the ruler and the other stuff on the left and so on sometimes guys we mess the things up and we don't know how to get this back if you see for example if I drag the assets then I drag the snippets let's say and I'm messing things up what to do in order to reset this so I will go to the window and I will go to the workspace layout and reset the standard okay so everything will go back as uh, it was in the beginning okay if you want to change the workspace you can change it by uh, clicking developer or standard we have two only we can create our own workspace so we can drag and remove panels as I want then after that I will name it like Khaled workspace and I, it will be showing up here with the, uh, with the two uh, main uh, default uh, workspaces okay uh, so if you want to create your own workspace you click on this one simply type the workspace after you drag and change uh, whatever you did here uh, so this is everything about the workspace if you want to show and hide different panels or windows you will go to the window menu and you will pick whatever you want so if you see that these toolbars are all there available if you want to show and hide different toolbars you will click them by picking them up from here now one of the most important uh, toolbars or panels is called properties okay the properties is very important we will use it all the time sometimes students won't find it sometimes I want it so I don't know from where to, from where to get it so I will just click from window properties and I will get the properties uh, panel shown here you can pick a proper pl place for the properties panel okay I usually put it here at the bottom and uh, whenever there is any content in the main document its properties will show up here okay uh, so this is all for the interface with the panels I have something also uh, I did mention which is the views now the views here we have three types of views or four let's say types of views we have the code view for the developers they will only see the code and work here as uh, if they are for example used to work with the code uh, it is difficult for uh, people who don't know HTML we have the split uh, screen or a view 
whatever you type here it will be typed in the codes and uh, vice versa so for example in the body if you type welcome to my website okay everything will be shown up here if you want to make it like uh, bold or italic or something you will also play with it from here and the code will be applied uh, in the coding screen and we have the live view which I told you about everything is like you are uh, browsing a real web page the links will work everything will be fine and finally we have the design view which also can uh, we can work on it with uh, more flexibility okay if you finish for example with the design you can go to the live to see how it will look like so there is different uh, views uh, in the Dreamweaver okay so you can decide whatever view you want to work on uh, this will be everything for today's class uh, next time in the next class I will show you how to use the insert uh, tab or panel and we will do most of the insert uh, options that we have here there are a lot of uh, content uh, links images frames uh, tables uh, div tags headings and much more hope you enjoyed for today uh, I'll be in touch and uh, hopefully with the next two days I will upload another video that will talk about the insert panel. Have a nice day.